Hey, this is Heather from Hooked on Pickin. I've got a massive palette from Via Trading that I'm getting ready to unbox. It's supposed to be assorted shoes. Now I know if you've watched my channel before, you've seen assorted shoes and it was like all the same kind. Well, this one, I'm really hoping, has a variety of different shoes. So we're gonna see what we get in this assorted shoe lot and find out how much we can make. All right, so let me give you the specifications on this particular palette. This is a Via Trading assorted shoe palette. It's supposed to have 150 pairs of shoes in it. The last time I got shoes, I had some damage on about four pair, and pleasantly enough, I was reimbursed uh, for all four of those pairs, so that was awesome. Paid $525, shipping was approximately $110 because I got five pallets shipped at once, so the more pallets you ship to your location, the better deal you're gonna get on your pallet, on your shipping prices. For a total of $635, which makes each pair of shoes equal $4.23 per pair. So let's see if we can make more than $4.23 per pair so that we can get a profit. So let's get this thing unwrapped. This is exactly how they come. And so we're just gonna pull all of the wrapping off and see what we have in this palette. All right, throw that behind and let's take this off. Well, I definitely see different kinds this time, so I'm pleased with that. I'll figure out where to put all this plastic here. Alrighty, good night. We're, we're never gonna get into it. So I see Champion right off the bat, A New Day. Um, so I'm looking, A New Day I know is Target brand. Um, Let's see what other kinds. I see some Cat and Jack, which is children's um, Target brand. Two years from now, when I'm actually in the palette, we'll see what's actually here. All right, there we go. Now we're making some progress. Okay, now we're down to the last layer here. So we're gonna start getting in here and opening. I will open up each and every box unless it's a duplicate pair of shoes, then I'll just stack it next to it. I will inspect each and every pair of shoe um, before I put it online or try to sell it. So I'm not just gonna assume that they're all in the same type of condition because you don't know, some are customer returns, some are shelf pulls. Shelf pulls are great because they're usually brand new, but customer returns, you never know what you're gonna get. They could have two different pairs of shoes in it, uh, uh, two different sizes of shoes, and various different things like that. So, so it looks like some of these corner ones are a little bit crushed, which makes sense on the palette. All right, we finally got through the whole thing. There we go. So these were definitely not going to be moving in shipping for sure. So Via Trading does a good job trying to make sure they're in good condition. I'm gonna pick a bad one first. Let's see what we got just for a bad one. Uh, I'm gonna put everything on the table and then um, give you a little bit better look at what we got going on um, as we go. So here's a pair of champion ones. I expect them to be a little bit beat up because look at the box. So this would not be a box I would send into Amazon. I could rebox it to send it into Amazon, but let's look at the condition of the shoes. So as you can see, they're in really great condition, even though the box was smushed on the corner. Uh, and it could be various different reasons why it was smushed. It could be that that's the reason why it was a shelf pull. The box is not in good enough shape. So these are a pair of eight and a halfs. They are called Poise 3 is the style. So every time I see the Poise 3, I'm just gonna um, stack them together. So here's another pair of Champion Poise 3. So what I'm gonna do, leave these on top, and then we're gonna make a Poise 3 stack here. That way we know that's the same shoe and we don't have to open each one. Same thing here. So we're gonna grab all the Champion boxes. Yep, Poise 3, same thing, and same thing. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six pair of these, and they're all size eight and a half. 
So the one thing I do like though is Champion, it's very, very likely because Champion is not a Target exclusive brand. I'm probably gonna be able to, with the really nice boxes, be able to send them into Amazon. Anything that has a crushed box, well, that's probably not gonna be possible, but those other ones I may be able to do. All right, so let's go ahead and look at these A New Day brand. It says that it is a um, gold Emma heel. So let's see what it looks like. Well, that is a gold heel, folks. Look at that. That is a gold shoe, if ever I saw one. Now that's a really cool size. It's a women's size 12. Larger sizes like 10, 11, and 12 are much more difficult to come by. And so um, this is gonna be a nice pair of shoes to be able to try to sell because like I said, the larger ones are harder to come by. And so I think just the stores don't order as many. So we're gonna move these over here, see how many of the Emma gold shoe we can find. My guess is we're gonna have all the same size. They'll be size 12s, but I may be wrong. Yes, here's another one. And another one. And another one. So far, I'm seeing a lot more variety than I got in my last batches. So we've got four pair of these shoes. And then we're going to go ahead and look through some of the other ones. So we'll give you kind of a last rundown of all those. I'm trying to keep it somewhat organized for myself. Let's try these big Massimo boxes and see what we got going on in these. If you love the camera work, say thank you, Mr. Cameraman, to my handsome hubby. Um, leave that in the comment section below. Ooh, a very cute pair of, these combat boot style shoes are really popular right now. These are a brown pair. Uh, they're a six and a half wide of a cognac color is what the, col the color is. Cognac um, Cassie style boot is actually what it's called. I, I look at them and they look a little bit like a combat boot, but they're called a Cassie boot. So if you're ever looking those up on my Poshmark store or anywhere else. So we're gonna set these over here, the Cassie style boot, and we're gonna look and see if we can find some more. Yep, Cassie style, all the ones in the same size box. Here's another one. See the crushed box? I'm gonna open this one up just to see the condition of it. Give you guys a glimpse. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these boots. They look just like the other ones. Really good condition. So I'm pleased with that, even though the box is crushed. Let's see. These are, oh, here's a blessing. These are six and a half. Same boot, nine and a half. So that's awesome because I don't like to have all the same size because it's difficult to sell one particular size if you have nine million of them because you kind of flood the market with them. Um, here's another six and a half. So we may be able to find some more nine and a halfs of this style of boot. So we're just going to put all the six and a halfs here. We'll put our nine and a halfs right by it. All right, I bet this is, this is a nine and a half Cassie style too. Put that over there. Let's see, this is probably one as well. Yes, crushed box, boots in good condition. So, all righty. See lots of Cat and Jack. Cat and Jack anytime. Um, oh, there's another one over here. Okay, let me check that, get that out of the way. We'll get to those Cat and Jacks in just a minute. Cat and Jack usually is, yep, same kind, six and a half. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five of the six and a half and three of the nine and a half. Now, when making my listing on Poshmark, the awesome thing about that is I'm gonna take one picture of one of the sizes and then I can add variations in sizes. So one listing, Bam, I've got all those boots listed of the same style. So we're gonna look at the Cat and Jack, and what I was gonna say about the Cat and Jack is, Cat and Jack, generally, if you ever see Cat and Jack, it's a Target brand of children's shoe, okay? So um, I do okay with kids' shoes, but usually if it's got some sort of a theme, like it's a Paw Patrol or some kind of um, cartoon on it, it does better. This is a size 10 Velcro, little baby shoe, size 10 in child's youth size, and it is called a Marty 
shoe and it is tan. So we'll look at those. Let's see how many more we have of the Marty shoe. Yep, here's another one. Another one. I'm up to three, four. What's the original sale price? The original sale price on this one, it does, let's see. 20 bucks is the original sale price. I'm gonna stack my kid shoes over here because I know I have a lot of them and I, know, and I don't wanna have to reach as far to set them on the table. So these are all tan in color. Marty Tan. So original retail 20. Like I said, I've got $4.23 invested. And so we're gonna have to definitely work real hard to get our money back on these ones because kids shoes, like I said, they don't sell near as well, but that's okay. Overall, I think this palette's gonna do good. And then um, I'm gonna make a second video that will give you the breakdown of how much I think I can make per style of shoe. Um, and that way you can get a better idea of if you're looking for a palette, if it has a lot of Cat and Jack or it has a lot of Mosmo or it has a lot of Champion, it's good or bad. So I'll try to break that down for you. Now I see these longer Cat and Jack ones. I'm going to avoid those for right now because I'm guessing they're a different type of shoe. So I'm going to get all these short Cat and Jacks off of here because as I look at them, they are all the Marty style. Yes. All right. So I've actually got... Let me see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pairs of those. Here's another little baby one. This looks different though. Oh, this is a different shoe. Come look. Oh, it's so cute. Little baby sandals. Those are called Alicia sandals. They're, and they're tan and they're size six. Alicia size six baby sandals. So that's the only pair I see of that one. I'm thinking maybe further towards the bottom we may find more, but as of right now, it's the only one pair that I see. So we're gonna set that here with the kids' shoes. All right, let's go back to a Massimo here and let's see what we got in this long skinny box. So I have, oh, some traditional flat, black flats. These are called ballet flats. Um, Ona black flats specifically is what Target calls them. So they're size eight and a half. And so we'll look and see if we have some more and we do. So I'm gonna just start pulling the Ona black flats out. So I'm pleasantly surprised with great condition, great condition with all of these shoes. Um, and we do have assorted, actual assorted this time. <laughs> not just you know and that was my you know miscommunication i probably should have been a lot more specific with my um sales manager um but it's the first time i had ever ordered shoes from them so i didn't know exactly what to expect and so when i talked to him the next time hey let's get some more variety in our shoe uh choices and so that definitely worked out better so i've got some more here I'm trying to pull all of these off making sure they're the same kind like I said, I'm definitely going to inspect each and every one before I list them and ship them off to customers, making sure I'm sending good stuff. This is a different kind, so I'm not gonna pull that one off. It's kind of nice, you can just see the right size here. These are the only bummer. These are all size eight and a half. So the bonus is if they're on Amazon, I know it's just one listing because if you ever list anything on Amazon, you need to be aware that if an eight and a half is on Amazon, maybe the size six is not. And so it is per barcode per size of clothing and shoes when listing things on Amazon. So take that into consideration when you're looking stuff up on Amazon. You don't buy all the purple shirt because the small might be there, but the large would not be. All right, so I've got 15 of these. Oh, and I had 15 of the Cat and Jack, so it might be that they like to put them in increments like that. So we're gonna put these shoes up here with the empty box so I have the box with it. All right, this one I said was a different one. So let's go ahead and look at this one, see what it is. Ha! Look at my shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> it's the same pair that I have on. 
So, which is funny because I actually got these pair of shoes out of a bulk box from bulk.com and these are from Via Trading. And so that's really funny. Um, so these are a Lavina natural colored sandal. Lavina is the what they're called. So if we find any more Lavina, yell at me, tell me to put it with the Lavina pile. Got it? All right. So we'll throw those right there. I don't see any more that size right now. Um, what are these? These are another pair of those really cute baby sandals. So the Alicia tan sandals. So we're gonna put those over here with these cute baby ones. All right, let's look at these Cat and Jacks. Are these different? Yes, these are different. Woo, that's some bling right there. Look at those. Those are lovely. These are called a Leslie pink glitter shoe. Leslie pink. So I'm gonna find all the Leslie pink shoes here. But as you can see, those are really, really cute. <laughs> and they are size four. So far, that's the only size I've found of the Leslie pink glitter shoe. All right, got seven pairs so far. I'm kind of curious if they always do the same number of the style of shoe or if it's random. Okay, I think I got one more over here. I'm liking the fact that I'm seeing an actual Batman shoe. So I'm hoping those will be worth quite a bit. All right, so of the Leslie glitter shoe, I've got 10. 10 of the Leslie glitter shoe. All right, let's see what these Batman shoes are. Clearly they're probably going to be a child shoe. are yes Batman boys velcro tennis shoes size one Batman boys size one it looks like that's what all the Batman boxes are what was the original retail on the Batman the original retail on the Batman shoe is $24.99 for a child shoe that's really good so my guesstimation is these are gonna be my quickest sellers for children's shoes. Um, women's shoes sell great, which is the majority of what I've got here. But as far as kids' shoes, these are gonna be my best sellers. Um, and so that's something you could always ask a sales manager about. Um, can you please look and see, are there any licensed character style of shoes? So these are obviously character shoes. You know, my Paw Patrol ones are considered character shoes as well. So. Um, let me see what these ones are. These are the Cassie Cognac ones that I've got over there. Um, 7W. Those are six and a half, and I've got nine and a half, and now I've got a seven. So um, I've got three separate sizes of these brown boots here that look like the combat boots. So we're gonna keep pulling those off. Sevens. Here's the nine and a halfs. I see a Morona, we haven't opened those yet. So stay tuned, we'll get to them. All right, these are six and a half. These are the black flats, like I have over here. We'll put these, more of these. So I'll give you a final total, and then like I said, uh, watch my second video and I'll be able to give you an actual number, you know, once I get everything listed and my projected, uh, Profits once I've got it all done. All right, we got six and a half back here. I'm getting quite the stacks going on here. So I'm gonna be covered up in shoes for a short time, not too long, because I usually sell my shoes pretty fast. All right. I'm gonna do all these. Okay, these are different. So these are a size six, but they're a different color. Same shoe, but they're black instead of tan.
And I've got a couple more over here. So I'm gonna make myself a stack of these ones. What's the original retail on these? Of course, I pulled a one pair out that doesn't have a tag on it. Hold on. Maybe they don't have tags on it. They do not have tags. Wonder if there's one on, nope, there's not one on there either. I'll have to look up the original retail. So stay tuned to the um, second video and I'll tell you what they are. But my guess would be they'd be around 24 to 40, somewhere in there. I know that's a big gap, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> All right, so these are the seven wide. Oops, good thing it's in a box. I'm tangled here. All right, sorry about that. Make sure we're still hooked up, there we go. All right, these are the black flats. These are the Lavina sandals. Size eight still. Black flats go over here. All right, let's go look in the Morona and see what we got going on here. I think I, I see some other duplicates, but we're gonna get to a new pair here. These are cute, look at those. They are size five and a half, and they're called Eve Black Morona Sandals. Eve Black Morona Sandals, so those are really cute. So I'm gonna try to pull as many off as I can. So if you notice, there's two Morona boxes and the thinner ones are actually a different shoe. All right, I want guesses. How much do you think that I actually will make off this palette? Remember, my total investment is $635. And so I would love to find out what you guys think. And no cheating, you can't watch the second video and guess and, and find that out. So go ahead and guess. So I know it'll be about a day. The first, if you guess the first day, I know you didn't cheat and watch the second video. So um, tell me how much do you think I will actually profit selling 150 pairs of shoes where I bought them at 625 or 635, sorry. All right, here's an, another Morona box and this is a different style of shoe. It's still a black sandal, but it's a black flat with a crisscross front. And so these are actually called Elky Black Sandals. Elky Black Sandals. We've got some more Massimo. These are the Lavina brown sandals like I have on my feet. So we're gonna put these over here with those. I've got some more black flats here. Looks like all of my black, black ballet flats are all eight, size eight and a half, which is a little bit disappointing because those are probably, I would say, my least expensive shoe. They're pretty common. Um, I see them at Walmart and Target for not too much money. Uh, it looks like the original retail on those was $16.99. And so they're not real, real high price shoes. But remember, $4.23 is all I paid for them. So um, surely I can make some profit. It's just, I wish I didn't have so many of these. I wish I had more of the boots and the, the other styles. Um, and these are all eight and a half size which is a standard size. A lot of women wear size eight and a half, so the likelihood that I'll sell them is good. It's just gonna take a lot longer because there are so many in the same size. So, yep. these are all black flats that I'm picking up. 
So also in the second video, I'll go ahead and count up each kind and tell you how many I have of the black flat ballet flats, how many I have of the sandals, how many I have of the various different things. Okay, I'm trying to get all the ones off the top that I have already shown you. So I can open, there's a big box of a new day style that I wanna get to, um, but I wanna make sure that I have all the duplicates already pulled off here. Yeah, here's a nine and a half of those Cassie boots. I'm gonna end up with an avalanche over here. All right, so th these are all, these little ones are all those little baby sandals that were really cute. A I'm a dropper. Those of you who watch my videos know I'm a dropper. At least I bought, that is the other reason why I don't buy breakable items because I'd never make any money because I'd drop it and break it. You thought it was because of shipping, didn't you? But no, it's because I'm a dropper. <laughs> All right, so these are the glitter shoes. Oh, this is a new one. Yay, we get a new one. Where's the glitter shoes over here? Okay, here's a new style, Cat and Jack. So it's a kid size, size two. And they're cute little black dress, slip on dress shoes. Cute little black ones. Pull all those off here. So I'm making a stack here, just going, I'm putting the boxes in separate directions so I know that they're different from the little singles I've already pulled out. These are all, this is a new kind too. I'll open that one in just a minute. All right, so these are all the black sparkly dress shoes. All right, this is a new one I haven't opened yet. Ooh, look at these. They're like sneakers and slip-on ones. They have a zip-up side, but they're flexible fabric. They're like a high top, but they have a flexible fabric on them. So that's kind of nifty. Make it a little bit more comfortable. And I've got two of those, I think. Yeah, two of those. So I'm gonna leave these over here because they're kind of got a kid's table thing going on. All the, my Cat and Jacks are over here in my Batman shoes. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Ooh, these are a new pair. A Marona, right? We don't have these yet. No, nope, we don't have these yet. A pair of really cute chunk heels. Uh, they are size five and a half, and they're called Talia, Talia Chunk Heels. So it looks like we've got about three more pair over here. So they're super cute with that little wooden kind of cork heel on them. So I'm gonna, sorry if I'm getting in your way, put them right here. Those there. Perfect, all right. You have these Morona shoes, have we seen these yet? Yes, these are my little wedge heels that I showed you, one of the first Morona ones we opened. Uh, these here. So I've got a few more pairs of those. Size five and a half. So if you have tiny feet, check out my Poshmark store. <laughs> all right, so we've got all those. I'll put these sideways. All right, Cat and Jack. We're on the bottom, there's the bottom of the palette. So these are black, the black little flats that I had for the little, little girls. So all of these are the black flats for the little girls. These ones here, the sparkly ones. So we're just gonna make another stack here for those. But good night. That palette looks a lot larger when you start spreading it out on the tables like this. All right, here's another pair of the black ballet flats that I was sad I have so many of, but they'll make money. Okay, you guys been curious about what's in this huge box? Me too. All right, let's see. Drum roll, please. Ooh, now, anytime you get knee-high boots, it's always a good thing, especially when you can buy them for $4.23 a piece. So I feel like I'm gonna make my money here. These are really cool because they've got a stretch back on them. And 
Finding the ones with the extended calf sizes like this are really hard to do. So these are um, a Brianna. Brown is what they're called. I would say they're kind of grayish brown um, when looking at them, but they have the extended stretchable calf plus a zipper to put them on. So these are originally $34.99, so I'm definitely gonna do well on these. These are size eight and a half. My guess would be that I have only size eight and a half. Um, I know when I usually buy Target boots, I generally have to buy about a size larger than I normally wear, but with these, because they have the stretch calf, maybe that's not the case. So, looks like eight and a half. It looks like these are all eight and a half. So, I'm gonna probably, yep, these are all Brianna Brown. Just stack them right here on the pallet. Um, since I'm kind of running out of table space, black ballet flats the black dress shoes for Cat and Jack, and ooh, this is one different pair. So let me open this. Let me put the black flats, ballet flats over here, and my black dress shoes here. Put this over here. Keep it open there. And let's open the last mystery box. Oh, these are so cute. Little gladiator sandals for babies. Taylor gold, Taylor style, golden color. So little baby gladiator sandals. So that is what I have. So tell me your guesses and how much you think that I can make. We'll see who can get closest. Remember, this is a Via Trading assorted shoe palette of 150 pairs. If you guess, the first day that this goes live, I'll know that you got it, um, that it was a legitimate guest and you didn't cheat and watch the second one. Um, paid $525, shipped for $110 because I bought multiple pallets at once. Total of $635, $423 per pair. I definitely think I'm gonna make a profit. So I'm actually going to do a second video where I show you how much I'm gonna make per pair since there's Yes, there's an assorted, but there's a lot of duplicates. And then also, is this gonna go on eBay? Is it gonna go on Amazon? Is it gonna go on Poshmark? I would say Poshmark and Amazon are gonna be my go-tos for these uh, items, but I'll let you know what platform you can actually sell these items on and why and how much I'm gonna make per pair of shoes. And then I'll give you a total for the pallet, deduct my 635, and figure out what the profit is. So we'll, why don't you guys give me your guesses on how much you think I can make with 150 pairs of shoes from Via Trading. Looks primarily like Target brand. And then we'll see, we'll go from there. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. Don't know how to get to Via Trading? Click the link in the description below. Via Trading was also awesome enough to create a coupon code for my viewers only. Use the coupon code HOOKED, shown in the description below. This code will give you $50 off your very first order of $250 or more from Via Trading. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.